This is the uh, Canon P8 Sign Star dual 8mm projector. I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to use it. Uh, first thing you need to determine is what size film you're using. This is a uh, roll of Super 8. Generally you've got about a half inch diameter hole in the center spindle for those. This is a regular 8. You've got maybe a 3 8 inch spindle hole in those. So uh, you have to decide which one of those you're going to be showing. I'm going to be using the Super 8. In that case, there is a uh, Super 8 adapter spindle that needs to be put on. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that on the spindle here. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my foam on. Then the uh, next thing on this particular model, you have two different apertures. You have, and that's what these are. You have one for a Super 8, one for regular 8. It says right on the end which one it is. Obviously I'm going to be using the Super 8 one. That slides in right behind the lens. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for a uh, little bit more of a close-up of that. You can see exactly how that goes in. There's the flat side that goes back towards where the film is slide it in and lock it back. There's a little red tab right there that uh, should be showing if it's in there correctly. Okay, I'll go over the uh, controls real quick. Uh, this is your main control knob. You set, it's got motor, lamp. It turns 360 degrees, either direction. Uh, the little knob here on the bottom is the speed control. Right here behind the lens is the focus, and above the focus is a small knob that says frame. This will, uh, if you're ending up with a picture uh, like the uh, bottom on the top and then the uh, top below it, kind of like your old TV's rolling, uh, this will correct that problem. Um, the end of the lens here, you turn it left and right, and that's your zoom. We'll zoom in and out, making the uh, projected image larger and smaller. Up here on top is a uh, film cutter. We'll bring in and show you this real quick. And uh, actually what this is for is for the automatic rewind which I'm going to demonstrate here in a little bit. If you load your film in here you can uh, press that down. And what it does is it cuts a small notch in it like that. Now what will happen is, when that small notch enters right here in the projector, it will trip the automatic rewind. There's a small red button above the lens that you can press at any time while you're playing a movie and it will start it to rewinding. If you want to watch a section over, you can just press rewind for a couple of seconds and then turn the control knob to off position, then turn it back to lamp and it will pick up playing again without any, any problems. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, load the film, bring it over the back roller, over the front roller, and there's a small red arrow here pointing to uh, where to push the film in. You just start feeding it in, and if you watch, you can actually see it right down here in a clear window, right behind the control knob. And once you see it down in there, you just turn it to motor, and uh, then turn it to lamp. And that will actually start the projection. Then you would adjust your focus in your frame. Now in just a second you're going to see I've got the notch cut in the film and it's going to hit the automatic rewind. And when that happens it's going to kick it in and rewind the film all by itself. Now you would do that towards the end of the film. There it goes. And then you can turn it off. And that pretty much covers all the basic features.